Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make uh, a 55 gallon feeder and a 55 gallon water. And I think these are the perfect setup for, for a coop that's somewhat confined. If you don't have, a, if you can't let your chickens out for some reason, this is gonna be a good setup for you. Also, the feeder is gonna hold about 300 pounds of feed and the water is gonna hold 55 gallons of water. Now, um, you can scale this down with some five gallon buckets if you don't need uh, this much food feeder or water, but I do. I have a bunch of chickens, I, they need water, they need feed. I don't like filling up my feed every day or every week. I like to do it once a month. And uh, as far as water, I like to do it almost never because it's a kind of a, a pain. What you're gonna need for the feeder is gonna be a 55 gallon drum and just a uh, 45 degree uh, three inch street elbow. Now you wanna get this specific type because of, uh, I'll show you here in a little bit, but there's a reason to get this one. It's gonna have this little bump here at the top and it's gonna be the same size throughout. You don't wanna get the other one that has the big end. It won't work out as well for this application. And then you're gonna need a hole saw. Uh, the hole saw you're gonna need for this is gonna be a three and a half inch. So just to get yourself a hole saw like this and it'll make easy, fast work of this. Also, you're gonna want a circular saw to cut the top off so you can feed the, uh, put the feed in the top. So we're gonna make the feeder first because it's much easier and faster. And uh, I just wanna get that one done real quick. So let's get started. 55 gallon drums can be purchased uh, online uh, or you can get them at a feed store. I found mine on Facebook Marketplace for about 10 bucks each. I, bought, I had to buy 30 of them, but I was able to get them at that price. So uh, if you are going to just get one or two of these, best to go to Tractor Supply or Rule King. Usually they sell them for about 25 bucks. And you're, you're gonna wanna get food grade, that's important. You don't want something that had oil in it. I mean, you can get away with that for feed, but for water, you really don't want any of that stuff leaching into the, the water. We're gonna cut the top off for the feeder, and then we're gonna cut two holes in there. Uh, all you gotta do is pretty much do what I did, walk it backwards and it cuts pretty easy. And then uh, it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line as long as, cause uh, you have this ridge on top. I'll show you here. So you, you don't have to have a, a perfectly straight line on your cut cause you have this ridge on top and it's gonna sit in here just like that. And it creates a pretty good seal. It's not perfect, but it's definitely good to keep your chickens out of the feed. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill our holes. Now it's really preference on where you want your holes or how many holes. You can put six, eight holes in this if you want. I'm just putting two because this is gonna go in a corner. Two is fine unless you have a million chickens eating out of it and, and they're gonna always be eating out of it. Two for a smaller coop, perfect. And you don't have to fill this all the way up with feed if you don't want to. You can just put one bag of feed in here, two bags, and you'll be fine too. Now, coming up from the bottom here, you're gonna to wanna to come up about four inches or so at least. Now, I'm gonna use a cinder block underneath this so it's raised off the ground so I can get all the feed in the bottom. But if you don't wanna do that, what you can do is, is raise your holes up. Now, it's, it's gonna be your preference on, on how you wanna do it, but uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it and we'll do it that way. When you cut these, you just wanna uh, have your speed set very high. You're not gonna blow this out. This is plenty thick enough. And you're gonna wanna put it right about here, about like I said, about four inches. And then just uh, hold your drill pretty hard so it doesn't twist on you and break your wrist. And then there's your hole. It doesn't have to be a perfect cut because we're just gonna slide this PVC piece on here. Now, if for some reason yours does blow out, say you're using a garbage can for this, garbage cans tend to blow out the sides. You're gonna wanna go uh, really slow or go in reverse and try to melt the can. And then uh, I'm gonna put my second hole right about here. And you can measure this to make it perfectly if you want like four of them, you know, one on each axis type deal, or you know, every 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here. So this plastic is gonna be, it's gonna make a mess. So, you know, if you wanna do this outside, if you got chickens, you're really gonna wanna do this some, somewhere inside or away from your chickens because they'll eat all this plastic stuff. You don't want that. All right, so there's my holes. I'm gonna grab my PVC fittings. We're gonna slip them right on. 
So when you put this on, it slides in there pretty perfect, right? How it's in there, nice. Now, you're not gonna need any silicone or anything like this. They have this little, uh, this little nipple on top here, this little piece. So what you do is you just press down hard, like this, and it pops in there. And it creates a seal, and then it's not going anywhere. Like this thing is not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about any kind of silicone, or anything like that. It's not gonna leak, it's perfect. Put the next one in, I'm gonna show you a little bit better of an angle. So you get it in there like this, and then you just press down really hard, and this pops in. Now it's hard for me to do it standing up, I have to do it while it's on the ground so I have some pressure. There it is. That's what, it looks like. That's what it looks like from the inside. Now, of course, we're gonna rinse this out really well and dry it before we put any dry feed in here. But I just kinda wanna show you guys that. All right, next we're gonna get started on the water. I just built this sweet table and I didn't wanna show it on video because I don't wanna show off my master carpentry skills. Anyways, uh, the whole point of this is to have a platform to set your barrel on top of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a barrel on top of this and below this is where our drinker's gonna be. This is a standard bell drinker and what they do is they hang and water comes out of here and they're very easy to clean and they don't leak. That's the most important part is they don't leak. So uh, my, the problem I had in my coop is that uh, we had little water nipples on there and the chickens kept breaking them off and then it would flood the coop out. So this is gonna hang down here, right about there. And they're not gonna be able to really get in here and smack it too hard, which is nice, is kind of how I want it. And it's just gonna hang off this. I'm gonna tie a string around here and it's gonna hang, it's gonna dangle right here. The hose is gonna come up and it's gonna go right into the side of the, uh, of the, the drum, the 55 gallon barrel. So let's bring this out to the coop and set it up and then uh, we'll watch the chickens uh, use this water and, and feed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tie this rope up for the bell water. That's good enough. And then I'm just gonna set the water up here and drill the hole. So I want the hole to be in the back so the chickens don't mess with it. Uh, the hole size, the drill bit size is going to be 1164 or 1130 seconds. 1130 seconds, okay? So just drill a hole. Doesn't really matter. Right about here. And what we're gonna do is just push this in as far as we can. We want it in there about uh, a few inches. So it doesn't have any chances of coming out. All right, it's in there quite a bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna twist it around so the cord wraps around it and it's not, it's not hanging around. So it looks something like that. We're gonna go ahead and fill this thing up with water and uh, see if it works.
While that's filling up, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this feeder started. That's three bags of feed. It could definitely hold at least three more. So we're talking 300 to 350 pounds of feed pretty easily. So I'm gonna head and uh, let these chickens uh, test it out. You can see the water over here is working. There's water in there. And uh, no leaks. All right, well, I hope this video helps somebody out in uh, determining if they want to make a, a water or a feeder in this fashion. I think it's definitely worth it. All in all, uh, price-wise, the bell water is about 50 bucks. The the 55-gallon drums are about 25 bucks each, and the street elbows are about five dollars each. So we're, we're looking at uh, 50 plus 50 plus five, so 105 bucks, and this will hold 300 pounds of feed. 55 gallons of water, and this will feed an entire flock of several hundred birds if you if you choose to to use it that way. Anyways, if you guys like watching chicken videos or uh, if you learn something, hit that like button. Thanks for watching.